I'm interested in many things. When I paint, I'm a painter. When I do calligraphy, I do calligraphy. Sometimes I feel the pain of the world. The war is approaching. I get uh, really uh, upset. So I have an urge to try to stop it. Kaz is a big inspiration. He's, uh, if, if you will, the, the general of a kind of army of peace. I got this phone call from Kaz saying that he had this group of people together and that they were going to try and stop the country of Japan from building a plutonium fast breeder reactor. I remember my colleagues in Greenpeace saying, what, I mean, this, this is a, a group of artists on the West Coast. I mean, what, what could they possibly do? I said, you don't know these artists. He is a very, very well-respected and in fact beloved Zen teacher, but he never joined an institution. He's a free man. He's a, in, if he was a samurai, they'd call him a ronin, uh, someone masterless. My father was a military officer. He became uh, war strategist, war planner in the in, uh, Imperial Military Headquarters. When I think of uh, the past aggression of the Japanese Empire and then violence, I feel so ashamed. I know uh, the, the fear and then the danger, scenes of uh, dead bodies and then you know, burning cities, I experienced it myself you know, when I was a kid. And I don't want any children in the world to experience that. That is my kind of life's vow. Enlightenment does not divide you, just as the moon does not break the water. You cannot hinder enlightenment, just as a drop of water does not crush the moon in the sky. The depth of the drop is the height of the moon. Each reflection, however long or short its duration, manifests the vastness of the dewdrop and realizes the limitlessness of the moonlight in the sky. <laughs>